you, you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, only three skulls. Because we did poorly. Steam Drive is alright, it just dead stops them in place for real, real. Let's make sure my camera's still working, huh? Nope, it ain't. At least I'm doing a little kissy face. All right, hey, we're back. I feel more connected to the rifts every time I defend. Oh, I love this level. It's like they're filling my head with more smartness. All right. So we need to. Where's a good place for this? Treat for you. Alright, that's pretty good. I love to like blanket this whole area in, in flip traps and either just keep kicking them back like a whole kick them back a whole stage, like put them from there to there. Or just put him straight into the asset anyway. The last game I played was Orcs Must Die 2. I've actually not gotten a chance to play 3 yet. Because for a while it was on Stadia, and then it, you know, is still full price here. It's still full price on Steam on a real... Uh, Try this on for size. It's full price on Steam on a real um, platform in case my meaning wasn't clear. Wait, what? Oh, right, this is the level where flyers come in. Hellbats. I think hell babies are also uh, a factor. Alright. So the problem is that I don't I actually don't have any traps up here. I don't have a choke. Point. I did it here in order to take advantage of that door, but I guess I could have just sold those. I could have put it up there and then sold them whenever it was time. It's a minor thing. The reason I don't use boom barrels is because I really hate anything in a game like this that is temporary. many things to say about this game. This is a very good game to play, but to comment on it is less strong. This is one reason why Let's Plays of this game are actually a little unpopular. The sequel has a bit more, uh, because people usually do it in co-op. Alright. Thanks. I was getting bored. Let's start on a. Yeah, let's start on a choke point here. 
I guess getting overwhelmed, like, in an area where you have no traps is fine, as long as they can then run to the traps. Yeah, for some reason, this is a really underappreciated, like, kind of thing. I can only think of, like, two other games that have a, um... That have a, uh, a, a gameplay system. One is the is Sanctum, which I had mentioned. And then, what is this game that I... I can't remember, but it had, like, a 1950s aesthetic. And it was like, aliens, they invade. The strange travelers from Mars have come to overtake us with some bullshit. You know, I forget exactly what it was. Sorry, I'm trying to not swear. Just in case my brother's watching. Hey, if my brother's watching and you want to play this game, it's literally on the Xbox 360 in the studio. In the, uh, <laughs> like, that's essentially wh what Steam has become for me. You know, in the same way that Disney Plus, paying your Disney Plus subscription is just so you don't have to dig through all the tapes you have in your attic, all the, you know, all the DVDs in your garage. Steam has just become, like, so I don't need to go get stuff out of my dad's basement or out of my dad's, you know, house. Let's make this the, um, new primary choke point. Here they come. Kobolds being fast might actually be able to catch up to the orcs. Oh, there they go. <laughs> yeah, doing this lets me just straight shot down. God, I'm, <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking about how much stuff has been, how many LPs of mine have been. Turning my keys on. Sorry. What keys are my fingers on? <laughs> my wife's on a new work schedule. She works nights now. And I stay up uh, in order to support her, which I love doing. I love supporting my wife at any time. Um, but it's left me a tad confused. You know, I get up at 11 p.m. so that my wife can go to work at 12 a.m. You know, the middle of the night. 